Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. मैं कल एक खाई हो
anybody has got any doubts with the null reporting or can we continue with the next one sir yes uh idi null reporting desktop lo cheste raavatledu sir normal ga download version lo cheste ostundi ante server lo cheste raavatle aam sir uh eppudaithe class data set execute chestamo like 19 observations raavali kada 38 ostunnai i think somebody manipulated that class data set in the work library i mean help library okay sir so that was the reason server lo edaithe sas help dot class undo evaro em chesaru ante danni change chesesaru andi okay i think sas help dot class not with the sas help dot class name with that was like you know with, that is with some other name anybody knows what is the data set name anybody is trying tried that in the server class 1 sir class 1 name to yeah you should go with sas help dot class 1 then you will get the report okay sir anybody has stop any any doubts uh hi sir so yes. when we try to uh, put the output in the word document it is not getting in the aligned manner so the data is completely uh, i think maybe problem. maybe maybe you are using too much too many what you call column numbers what is the last column that we have given at the last variable sir i have used the hard data set uh, to execute okay. this one so mm -hmm. around uh, 10 to 12 uh, uh, columns okay. i have given yeah so in your scenario the data will go into the next phase so you won't get in that aligned manner that's the problem with the uh, multiple you know too many variables okay okay so in that Thank scenario you. we will go with some other method okay anybody any doubts and now it is sir uh, when we are giving a list of variables like as you told the first variable name double hyphen and the last variable name so in that particular case uh, if we have to uh, separate it in separate by spaces so do we have any other method or we should give all the variable names and uh, give at the rate like that double hyphen I mean, what's the error? I I told you that example. If we are having many variable names, so uh, instead of listing all the variable names, the, if we know oh, the first and last variable name, we can use it. Ah, uh, that is in the report, right? I mean, in in this scenario, I had given that example. No, sir, not in. But uh, why why can't we use your also we can't do so if you want to give that variables you should give that variables only in the proc step you can't give in the data step process you can give only in the processor step okay okay thank you when we use in file statement anybody for raw data or in stream data when we use input statement yes. when 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 we use input statement in what scenario when we, where we have when we where data is when present we have data at, lines or text data In stream data, text. When the data maybe is in stream data or text file data, in that scenario we use input statement to specify the variable names. So when we use a data line statement, we have a raw data. When we have raw data, when we have raw data or in stream data, you know, in reality, in real time, you never get the data in stream. You never get that in stream data or raw data, or it is almost in no cases that you will get a text file data you never will get the text file data understand what i am saying in the real time we never create a data set from in stream data or from the text file data so that means 
we never use in file statement in the real time input statement and data line statement maybe sometimes you may have used input statement but we never use a data line statement or in file statement understand what i'm saying so manik real time in stream data rather text file data rather so in stream data text file data which in a pretty we use in file statement input statement and data line statement that means uh, almost it's impossible we never use in file input and data lines but why we should learn this one sas foundation point of view understanding point of view learning programming point of view understand sas concepts point of view these statements are very very important and of course these are very important for interview point of view but in the real time point of view in very rarest of rare cases only we use in file statement input statement and the data line statement so then how we will get the data in the real time if you are in the clinical domain the data already will be in sas data set form yes already data will be in raw data, data sets form in worst case scenario what you are going to you will import x file sometimes you are going to import excel sheets or csv files if you are under the banking banking side most of the times so you are going to connect to the database and connect to the database and then we are going to extract you are going to extract data in a form in in the form of you know data sets so remember i told you proc sql create a table table name and uh, you know user sorry connected to user connected to oracle user is equal to username password is equal to password then create table table name as select star from connection to again i told you select star from emp semicolon disconnect from table database name fit by using that pro program as a banking saas programmer you are going to extract the data from the database but if you are into the clinical domain 99% of the cases so you will get the data sets saas form data sets in in few occasions so you will import an excel sheet or a csv file by writing a proc import processor but uh, why do we discuss all these things uh, to understand saas in a better way to get in a strong foundation we learned these things but what and all i am going to discuss from today onwards is going to be very very important for the real time point of view but uh, we have discussed a back end process null reporting in file input data statement those are very important for interview point of view and of course data statement is always important but in file input data lines may not be that much important okay but what and all i am going to discuss in to, from today onwards uh, it is going to be very very important for the real time point of view understand what i'm saying did you get it yes sir yes sir for okay. yes, now i'm going to give a task i want to have a data set called emp i want to have a data set called emp and i want to have a label for the data set label for the data set as for example employee salary report employee salary report and then the next one thing is i want to have a variables and what are the variables i want to have the first variable i want to have an emp id then the next will i want to have a name then age then sex then salary then the location the first one is emp id and i want to have it as a numerical variable and i want to have it a length 8 and the next will that i want to have a name variable i want to have it as a character variable i want to have a length you know maybe 7 and then i want to have a age variable age variable i want to have it as a numerical variable i want to have length 8 and then i want to have a length variable 6 i want to have it as a character variable i want to have a length 6 then i want to have a salary variable i want to have it as a numerical variable and i want to have a length 8 and finally location variable i want to have it as a character variable i want to have length 3 so in the real time this is how we are going to get a specification sheet what do you mean by specification specification is nothing but the rules of what exactly they want to have they are going to tell you that information in a form of a specification sheet so this is they want to have 
now they will provide you the raw data so they will provide the text document so for example where we can find the data the data is we can find in the demo one text file this is they will tell you now tell me as a SAS programmer please write a program to create a EMP data set from this data now can you tell me how to create a data set from this data now so I will tell you this data is present on my desktop this data is present on my desktop in a folder called SAS in that I have a SAS data folder in the SAS data folder here we have a demo one text file tell me how to write the program for this one label is equal to they want to have a label this is the label they want to have now i'm going to copy the label yes i am copying the table now within the quotations i'm going to specify that one and then close the parenthesis then you should write the in file statement then file statement sorry in file statement you should specify the path of the text file here i have a text file i'm going to get the path copy as path now go to the program then i'm writing the input statement in the input statement i'm writing mpid because these are the variable names you should write in the same way name they want to have it as a character variable because the name they want to have a character variable then the e is variable they have a numerical then sex variable they want to have it as a character variable they want to have a salary variable and location character variable so empid is salary numerical variable they want to have length 8 that is fine but a name they want to have a length 7 how to give the length 7 you know one thing so far you can write you can decrease the length from by default 8 to 7 by writing a dollar 7 dot but you know if i specify dollar 7 dot what sas will do every time it looks for 7 but do we require every time 7 no. then what should i do sometimes we agree then what should i do i should tell the sas system please stop comes first we have space or the length that we specify end of the record which comes first stop what is the symbol i should very good you should specify symbol very good now i am going to specify the colon symbol so you know that uh, the three possibilities uh, the length that we specify or sing so for the first single space or the length that we specified or end, end of, of record which are called sexual stop now my opinion sex can challenge it sometimes we have female we require six sometimes we have male we require only four then what we should do Six star. So, so right, a dollar. So, sorry, before that, dollar symbol. symbol six star. Because six star. Star. Six star. if you have a space before that, it will stop there. Now tell me, what should I do for the location? Only three. Every time we have only three. three. Every time we have three. three. Uniform. Uniform error. Yeah, you don't write the symbol. Simply, you can write the dollar three dot. Okay. So this is the specification that I had given to you. Okay, this is called specification sheet. They are going to give the specification sheet in the real time, and they will provide you the data. And you should write the pro program according to the specification sheet. And you will write as a SAS programmer, and you think we have done hundred percent correct, same whatever that they had given specification, and you think that you have done in the same way. Now you will execute the program and you will go to the log window to check if you have any errors. You do not have any errors. That means strongly you believe that you did according to the specification. Now you will submit this data set to your client. There is a department called validation. You will submit your data set to validation department because whatever the program that you have written, whatever the data set that you got, do you think it is dead person correct? you think it is 100 percent for correct but uh, how can i understand that how to how to how i can know that this is 100 percent correct or not 100 percent correct in the sense you did you have written this data set 
according to the specification that what I had given or not. Showing me somebody's background noise I'm getting. Can you please stop your mic? Panindra? How do I know that you created this data set according to my specification or not? So then what should I do? I need to validate your data set. I need to check whether you created this data set according to my specification, my wish or my rules. If you want to, if I should understand that one, whether you have done according to my specification or not, you know what I should do? I should look into the metadata. What do you mean by metadata? Metadata is nothing but data about data. You can find in the metadata, you can find, you know, column attributes. You can find the column attributes. What are the column attributes that you can find? You know, what do you think? What are the column attributes that we have? You know, these six things are, six, six things are called column attributes. Those are variable name. The second one is variable data type. type. These six things are called column attributes or variable attributes. This information will be stored in the back end in the metadata area, and this is called data about data or metadata. metadata. Where we can find this? I told you this information will be get stored in the descriptor area. How to find the descriptor area? You know, if you want to see the descriptor area, you should open the data set. And you should go to the first variable and you can give the double click of the, on this variable or otherwise give a right click. And can you see here we can find in a column called, you can an option called column attributes. Attribute. Column attributes. Now you will get in a window called column attributes in this column attributes now we can find employee id attributes can you see what is the name of this variable yeah. what is the label yeah. we don't have any label here label we have we have a missing value then what is the length of this variable i told you by default eight. all the variables are going to have length eight and we have the format best to dot informatic you don't know about informats and formats yet so we'll discuss about that one later and then we have a type. Can you say what type of this variable the variable yes, this is? Numerical. Can you say we have a pick for the numerical? So that means this MPID is a numerical variable. So this is the name of the variable, label of the variable, length of the variable, format, in format, data type. Now these six things. Not muted my mic so this is called a column attributes or variable attributes now these six things information we can find in a column attribute. now if you want to say the name variable attributes what we should do we should go to the name variable and double click on the variable now we can see this name variable attributes again name of the variable which is nothing but name label length format in format and the data type can you see we applied the length seven and it is a character variable so if you want to find the metadata information or variable attributes every time what we should do you should go to the data set and you should click on the variable now there we can find all the attributes of a variable but you know if i click on this one i can see only one variable attributes that too i only can see this one if you want to see all the six variables attributes at one place what we need to do in future during the proc step we are going to write a program called proc contents okay don't worry about this processor during the proc step i will discuss very in depth this one proc contents data is equal to which data set contents information that you want to know you should write the proc contents data is equal to data set name semicolon run you know what if i execute this program what this proc contents processor will do this proc contents processor will write all variable attributes at one place 
Now, if I execute this program, EMP data, data data information will print in the output window. Now, can you see in the output window, this is the information that you will get. Do not worry about all this information. We'll discuss about that one later. But so far, time for the time being, this is the most important table. Try to understand this table. Alphabetical list of variables and its attributes. The first one is variable name, the data type, and the length. So here's the variable is a numerical variable. By default, the length is eight. EMP added numerical variable length eight. Location character variable length C. Name, sorry, length three. Name character variable length seven. Salary numerical variable length eight. And the sex character variable and the length is we have given six. So we can find all the six variables attributes in one table like this one. Now, when I execute the proc contents also, where we can see this information? We can see this information only in the output window. But in the real time, you know what we should do? You need to submit this information to the client so that client can see that attributes information. Then he can understand whether you created this data set according to the specifications or not. So that's why in future, you know what we are going to do? I want to put all the metadata into data set. And the case, proc content process, you know, what you are going to do? We are going to write out is equal to a data set name. Now, if I do this program, whatever the contents information that we have, now that contents information will be get saved into a data set. Now we will submit this data set to client. Now the client is going to validate by seeing this data. But do not worry about this one right now. During the proc step, I will explain this process in depth in detail so that you can understand that time. But what I want to say in today's class, when you're writing a program, yes, you know that you can you are confident that we have written this program 100% according to the specification, but they don't accept your data set until unless they have validated your data set. What do you mean by validation? They're going to check whatever the data set that you created, it is according to their specification or not. That process is called validation. Maybe they are going to give 100 marks to you. No, they're going to validate every answer sheet based on that, they're going to give the marks. In the same way, in the real time also, whenever they do, whenever it a program, what they will do, they're going to validate it. And if, if that is not according to the specification, they will submit back, they will send you the code back and you should rewrite the code again. So until you get it right, every day, every now and they are going to submit the code back, you have to write the code again. And once the code is according to the specification, they will, then they will accept it and then they will finalize your data set. Sir, who will prepare uh, the specification, sir? There is going to be a separate team in the real time spec team. So they will create the specification. But if you have an experience of more than three as a SaaS programmer, you can be a spec team member. And in some companies, only one program will to end to end. In that scenario, you are going to be the developer, you are going to be the specification sheet creator, you should do all the things. But in most of the MNC companies, there is going to be separate team for specifications. Okay? They will be trained up in specification and they will write the specifications and they will give it to you give it to you as a developer and now you will write a code called the specification sheet understand this one sir now, once again uh, repeat all attributes how to submit you should write a proc contains data for which data set contents you want to have metadata you want to have data data set name then out is equal to what is the new data set that you want to create you can write any data set name here now, if I do this program, the attributes information of EMP will be get saved in the temp data set. Now we are going to submit this temp data set. This is according to basis, okay, in SAS. But in future, they use a different tool if you are into the clinical domain. There is a tool called Pinnacle 21. They use that tool to get the attributes. And do not worry about that one. But uh, as a SAS programmer, by using a proc contents processor, we can save all the attributes of a data set into a data set by writing this syntax. Understand this one? Yes, sir. This temp folder again is stored in work library. If you want to save it, and you can write in only if you write only data set name, this will be get saved in the work library. Okay. okay. 
Thank you. But if you have given some other names, say for example, if I write out is equal to Srini dot temp, then what is going to happen? This temp data set will be get saved in my library, Srini library. Understand? Yeah, okay, sir. Thank you. But uh, so please focus today, class. Uh, what are the attributes, variable attributes that you have? Even and variable attributes, sir? variable name, mm -hmm. variable data, data type, type. Okay. and from today onwards, the next three days, we are going to discuss about these variable attributes. Okay, the first thing that we are going to discuss in today's class is variable name. You already know about this one, but still we'll discuss again one more time the variable name. Now, Chapandi, in SAS, when writing a variable name, what are the rules we should follow? A variable name should be more than eight characters less than or equal to 32 characters less than or equal to 32 characters and mm, you should start with underscore you can have number numbers and have a number but should not start with a number mm. should not start with the number 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 two but should not start with the number no number and what is the final rule no special characters special characters special and characters and except underscore. underscore so these are the four rules we should follow a variable name should be less than or equal to 32 characters it should start with alphabet or underscore you can have a number but it should not start with a number and you should not have any special characters except underscore this is in basis these are the rules we should follow but in future if you are coming into the clinical domain remember a variable name should be less than or equal to eight characters only according to fda guidelines variable name only less than or equal to only eight but in basis you can have up to 32 characters 32 characters so you should be less than or equal to 32 characters and allow and minimum and you can have minimum one and maximum 32 32 you should have anything between 1 to 32 understand this one so these are the rules we should follow when writing a variable name now tell me this is my data 101 name abc age 23 gender female gender female salary 50000 and he is from hvd then i have 102 name df 29 male salary 7000 and he is from chennai now 103 klm 31 female 8000 Sydney. now i'm writing 104 xyz 27 male 9000 you know mumbai i want to create a data set now i'm writing a program data data set name ds1 semicolon do you require in file no, 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 If you don't write the in-file by default, SAS thinks it's the in-stream data. No, I am I'm not writing in-file statement. Directly I'm writing the input. I want to have a variable ID. Yes. Name is salary, 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 and then I'm writing location. And location. Now keeping the semicolon. Then I'm writing data the lines. semicolon. And finally, keep a semicolon. Now write the now tell me if I execute this program, in how many variables I will get the data? In how many variables I will not get the data? In three variables, we will get the data. In three variables, you won't get the data. Name, age, and location, we don't get the data because there is no dollar symbol. Okay. Listen carefully. In the input statement, if you do not write a dollar symbol, you know by default according to this program all these variables are numerical variables 
మీరు డాలర్ సింబర్ రాయలేక రాయలేదు అంటే కనుక వేరియబుల్స్ అన్ని కూడా ఏంటంటే బై డిఫాల్ట్ ఐడి ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ వేరియబుల్ నేమ్ ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ ఏజ్ ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ సెక్స్ ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ శాలరీ ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ అండ్ లొకేషన్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో అన్యూమరికల్ వేరియబుల్ ఓకే నా విల్ సి ఐడి ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ వేరియబుల్ డేటా ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ డేటా ఇట్ విల్ గెట్ ద డేటా సక్సెస్ఫుల్ నా అకౌంట్ టు దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ నేమ్ ఇస్ అన్యూమరికల్ వేరియబుల్ బట్ డేటా ఇస్ డేటాబుల్ it will read and location is a numerical variable but data is character data it will not read data it will not read so now what is our conclusion you know in sas now we can say a numerical variable a numerical variable can read it can read, can read numerical, only data. numerical data only numerical data is this clear everybody yes sir so that's why if i execute this program you will get the ds1 and you will get the data only in id variable as variable and select because according to this program all the six variables are numerical variables i told you remember it or not when we were discussing about the back end process in the pdv all the numerical variables is going to have a dot symbol period symbol so that means since according to this program all the six variables are numerical variables in the pdv what we will have you will have a period symbol so since the name is a numerical variable we have a period symbol data character it cannot read it that's why can you say what is the symbol that we have here period period symbol period symbol name is a numerical variable sex is also numerical variable and the location is also numerical variable according to this program now can you please tell me if i want to read the data into name successfully what should i do నేమ్ లోపలికి డేటా నేమ్ ఇన్ మెన్షన్ డాలర్ సింబల్ యు నీడ్ టు మెన్షన్ డాలర్ సింబల్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది నేమ్ అండ్ జెండర్ అండ్ లొకేషన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ సెక్స్ ఇఫ్ యు స్పెసిఫై అ డాలర్ సింబల్ ఆఫ్ ది నేమ్ వేరియబుల్ నౌ దిస్ వేరియబుల్ విల్ బికమ్ క్యారెక్టర్ వేరియబుల్ ఇఫ్ యు స్పెసిఫై డాలర్ సింబల్ దిస్ వేరియబుల్ బి అ క్యారెక్టర్ వేరియబుల్ సో అ క్యారెక్టర్ వేరియబుల్ విల్ రీడ్ ది క్యారెక్టర్ నౌ సీ ఐ యామ్ సెలెక్టింగ్ ది ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ ఐ యామ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ నరేష్ ఐ యామ్ గెటింగ్ ది traffic zone from your side now if i execute this program yes i will get the ds1 now can you see in the name variable yes i got the data now if i open the name variable now can you see what the data type of the name variable character character, character. but what is the data type of the sex variable numerical. numerical because i didn't specify the dollar symbol still that's why sex is still character numerical variable Yes. Now tell me, if I want to read the data into sex, what should I do? Dollar I should specify a dollar symbol. And again, of the location also, I should specify the dollar symbol. So now, sex is going to become a character variable. Location is going to become a character variable. And the data is also character data. And yes, you will get the data. Now, you will get the data in the name, sex and location also. understand this one so now what is our conclusion now your conclusion can be like this one a character variable sorry a character character variable can be only character data yeah. character variable <laughs> can read can read, read. read uh, new character and new character data now tell me of the id variable id variable name i am specifying a dollar symbol now that means according to this program id is a numerical variable or character variable now character variable it will be character here dal symbol pettaru unte ganaka variable character will be but how we have the data in numerical variable data numerical and selecting this program i'm executing this program yes we have a ds1 do we have the data in the id yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. but that is in uh, left side generally i told you in the start yes, starting the data is in left side the character variable data 
will align on the left side of the column. The numerical data will always align on the right side of the right column. Side. So that is the characteristic of a data in size. So numerical variables or data, you put a right side alignment to the character variable data, you put along to the element of left side. Left, left side. Yes. Actually, one zero and one zero to show down in numerical data, but how we have the alignment? Left side. Left side. So if you have an element of alignment on the left side, so that means what is this data? This is character data. So though it is a numerical data, we read this data as a character data. So now what is our conclusion? Now we can say that a character variable can also, it can also read the numerical data. But in character format, character type low, character format for each So now what is our conclusion? A numerical variable can read only numerical data, but a character variable can read both character data and numerical and data, numerical. but numerical data type. Understand this one. Now tell me if I do this program, yes, I'm going to get the data in all the six variables, but the alignment is will be all in all the six columns. We have left side alignment. That means what is this data type? This is you know character data. Okay. Okay. Character so data. I'm going to specify after the salary also. If I specify dollar symbol, after the years also, if I specify dollar symbol, am I going to get the data or not? Yes. I will, but the, but I will get character the data, data. As, character. as a character. Yes, I'm going to get the data as character data. Understand this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, I want to import an Excel sheet. Now, on my desktop, I have a SAS folder. In that, I have a SAS data folder. In that, I have an Excel folder. In that, I have an Excel sheet called COS. I want to import this one. So, shift right click, copy as path. Copy as path. Yeah. 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 Control V. Now, I'm getting proc import. Proc import. Data, data file. file. Copy as path. Excel sheet. Then, I'm writing out is out equal, is equal to, to asset name. Cars. Now, if I execute this program, yes, I'm going to have a car status. Do you know what variables that we are going to have in the cars? Make model. You don't know it. You know what are the variables that we are going to have in the DS1? Because in the program itself, you have given the variable names. You only given the variable names, so you know that what are the variables that we have in the DS1. But in the car data set, you don't know what are the variables that you are going to have. Because when you are importing an Excel sheet or a CSV file, we never mention the variable names. You no need to. You know why? Because proc import is very clever. What it will do while it importing? It can understand what are the variable names. So automatically it will get the variable names. How it will get the variable names? I told you, remember, by default, we are going to have a statement First called name is get name is equal to yes. Since we have a get names is equal to yes, so then data row is equal to true. What do you mean by get names is equal to two? That means so, you know, automatically, you know, in the car's Excel sheet, get the first row as variable names. And the first row ni, variable names can teach us one At the default, you no need to tell the SAS system so it can understand, it can scan the first record, whatever the values that we have in the first record. So it will come as a variable names. Now, can you say what we have in the first record? First row? In the first row, we have make, model, type, origin, drivetrain, MSRP, invoice, engine size, cylinders, horsepower, MPG city, MPG highway. So how these come? These will come as a variable names in the imported data set. Then we from where you will get the data? From the second row onwards. So, so you don't need to tell anything. SAS can detect it. It can scan. Automatically it will get the variable names. 
సో మరి ఇప్పుడు మీరు వేరుబుల్ ఏమి మీరు చెప్పినప్పుడు హౌ వీ ఆర్ గోన్ టు డిఫైన్ ద డేటా టైప్ యూ నో నీ టు డూ ఎనీథింగ్ యూ నో వాట్ సాస్ విల్ డూ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోన్ టు స్కాన్ ద ఫస్ట్ ట్వంటీ రికార్డ్స్ it is scanning in the first 20 records so if you have at least one character value in the 20 records then automatically this variable will become character variable now tell me in this 20 records do we have at least one character value yes sir yes, yes. all 20 yes. are character yes. all are the this is going to become character variable now come into the second variable second column do we have character value in the first 20 records yes yes we have yes, so yes, this sir. becomes a character variable so that means it is going to scan the first 20 rows and by scanning the first 20 rows it will decide which one is character variable which one is a numerical variable you no need to tell anything so now tell me take the cylinders do you have one character value in the first 20 records at least one no no, no sir. this is going to become by default a numerical variable understand this one you know why because by default we are going to have one more statement called guessing rows is equal to you want to know guessing rows is equal to you go 20 you know. by default we are going to have so that means it is going to scan the first 20 records based on that it will decide which one is character and which one is numerical understand this one now i will give a scenario say for example this is my text this is an excel sheet how many records it is going to scan by default 20 20 record this is going to become which variable character or numerical 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 suddenly in the 30th record i have a value here say for example here i have a x then what will happen so since it is already decided confirmed as a numerical variable can we have a character data in the numerical variable no it should not have no, so what it will do it will keep as a missing value in just that one 30th recall x which is the x in this is in just under here it will keep a period period symbol but if we have say for example take this one by scanning the 20 records this variable is going to become which variable make will be character variable character variable here in 30th record we have a numerical data is it going to read it or not yes it will be blank it will read yes so but uh, will because because a can character read. can read both character data and numerical data understand yes sir but if you yes. have a, a, a character value in the 30th record in this variable are we going to get the data no, no. sir no, no sir but yeah. i want to get that the data. period symbol very good but yeah. i want to get the data i want to get that x so what i'm going to do i do not want to lose it i'm okay if you read it as a character also i'm okay i'm fine so then what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the guessing rows is to say for example 20 to 200 now what sas is going to do now it is going to scan the first 20 200 records understand in the 200 records if you have at least one character value that variable is going to become now character variable so that means i am going to increase the scanning rows from 20 to 200 so now how it will decide whether a variable is a character or a numerical variable by scanning the first 200 records the 200 records lo okka tanna character value ochindi ankonandi em avutundandi ipudi variable this variable will become character otherwise this variable is going to become numerical so here from the 201 from here it is going to scan it is going to scan up to 200 like this one so now by scanning this one if you have at least one character value in any of the 200 200 lines this will become character otherwise this variable will become numerical so by increasing that scanning rows i will not lose the data but sometimes a numerical variable because of having one character data it will become character variable but i'm fine 
but I do not want to lose the data with it. Understand this one. Is everybody clear with this one? Thing value on the sir. By default, it is going to scan only 20 records. 20 records to scan just now. Could even look at the numerical, but numerical whole data is whole data is Kunde. It can read, does it read, sir? It will read, but it will read as a character data. Because uh, I specified guessing rows is equal to the bit and children, 200 bit and 2000 bit and it will scan 2000 records. Until 2000. And our 2000 character value on the only that will become character variable. Character variable. Okay. But you can keep maximum 32,767 guessing rows is equal. That is the maximum that you can keep. Yeah. Clean everybody? Yeah. Now, I am going sometimes in future, I am going to create a data set like this one. You know, I am writing data, data set name demo. Now I am writing name is equal to within the quotations Srinivas. You know what is going to happen if I execute this program? If I execute this program, it will create a data set called demo. In the demo data set, I am going to have variable called name. In that name, I am going to have value Srinivas. Understand? So it will create one variable and one observation. Now see, if I execute this program, yes, I am going to have a demo data set. Now can you see what is the variable I am having in this? Name. And what is the value I have in that? Name. Now my question. Name is a character variable or a numerical variable? Character, sir. Character. Character. How do you know that one? Because there is no numbers in that data. Okay. Then I'm writing, say, for example, sal is equal to 50,000. Now tell me, this sal is a numerical variable or a character variable? Numerical variable. Numerical variable. Numerical variable. Numerical variable. Very good. Now I am writing, say, for example, fee is equal to, you know, 500. Now, mm -hmm. fee is a numerical variable or character variable? Character variable. Character, character you... variable. Do not, we do not need to mention quotation for numerical. See, you know, when you're creating a data set like this one, if you had anything within the quotations of the is equal to symbol, now this variable is going to become character, character. variable. Character. If you write a thing openly like this one, now the salary is going to become numerical variable. Yes, sir. But if again within the quotations, now fee is going to become which variable now? Okay, then it will be character data. And if we go to symbol Tarvata, again, sir, value within the quotation Rasa and Kondi automatically this has can understand. Yeah. Make it as a character. Now I am writing like this one. Say, for example, I am writing like this one. Say for example, x is equal to x is equal to hyd. Now, x is a character variable or a numerical variable? Character. Numerical. Should you put a symbol for quotations? It is. Ah, yes, yes. Do you have a quotation? No, sir. No. Do you have a No. So this will become numerical variable. Numerical. But you know. A numerical variable cannot read character data, so X is going to have a missing value. Yeah. Understand this one? No, but yeah. here you know what is going to happen? Hyderabad is HYD is also going to become a variable because uh, you shouldn't write you didn't write within the quotation, so now that is going to become a, a variable. Now see you we have a demo data set. Name is a variable, character variable. Salary is a numerical variable because can you see we have right set data and can you see what is the fees variable? It is character a character. Data. And X is a numerical variable. We have a period symbol. H word is also a numerical variable. We have a period symbol. Now I'm writing like this one. Say for example, data, I'm writing a DS2 data set. 
Now I am writing, say for example, text is equal to, I am writing SAS demo class. Now tell me text is a character well or numerical variable? Character, sir. Character, character. Why, how, we, how do you know that one? Because it is within the quotation. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. something within the quotation, so that's why text is going to be a character variable. Correct. Now I am writing, say for example, fee is equal to, I am writing 40,000. Now fee is equal to what variable it is? Numerical. 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 Because after is equal to symbol, I am writing something openly. Now I am writing, say for example, say for example, I am writing income is equal to, income is equal to, say for example, 1 lakh, I am writing like this one. Now tell me, income is a numerical or a character variable? Character, sir. Character. 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 Now it is numerical. Yeah. numerical. Address is a numerical variable. But it cannot understand, it cannot read the data because a numerical variable cannot read the character data. So you will have a period symbol. Yeah. Visa is also going to become a variable. Yes, sir. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Can I actually get the character variable like this, sir? Character. In quotation, I like what they can numerical variable. Numerical variable. Data in data. Character. Character data. But it is an If I put this program, you will get the DS data set. Can you see address? What is the address variable? Numerical. In the kind of easy code to Tarbata, we are opening a rasher and code. Automatic variable. Numerical variable. Numerical. Are they by gender? Can be a quotation or a certain quantity? Address a motion only. Character. Character. This is how it is going to decide which value is a numerical and which one is a character. Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then. We'll continue in tomorrow's class. Thank you. Sir, sir, send it there to, um, through WhatsApp, sir. This one? Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'll discuss. I'll submit this. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay.